Some kind of funny business that's at play here of why they passed up on charging Hunter at all. Then they come at him with a couple of charges. Now they roll with this expanded set of charges. But again, Eric, nothing goes to the FARA violations. The fact that Hunter was getting all this foreign money and using it to try to influence whether it be his father or other Democrats who are in government. And the indictment against Hunter, it references lobbying. I think it's in the first paragraph from the first page and then says nothing else about it for the rest of the entire indictment. So clearly what this is, these are supporters of Joe who are pushing Hunter in front of the bus and saying, okay, we gotta feed the masses a little bit to keep them off of Joe's scent. But that's really where this should be going, is right to Joe Biden. So, you know, I, I speculate here a little bit, Jason. Um, the timing is suspect to me. All right, so now this is coming up. All of a sudden, Weiss says, oh, we have all these, th you know, we're gonna look into the fair stuff and there's California comes with these charges. I feel that the Biden administration is in a, painted themselves in a corner with what's going on in the Middle East. In other words, they came out in support of Israel. All of a sudden, Muslims in, in some states that they need to win are saying, take Joe Biden out. We, we don't want him as the president. Now they're trying to, to balance this pro-Israel with a pro-Hamas line, and they can't. So is this a shiny object that you're trying to get people to forget about what's going on in the Middle East and think about Hunter as almost like a bait? Well, uh, Eric, I'd hate to say that I'm at all skeptical uh, towards some of our leaders in government, but when you look at what's going on here, it does have a bit of a feeling of the Biden folks creating bad news to cover up other bad news. I mean, the fact of the matter is that Biden's poll numbers are in the tank, even with core Democratic constituencies, African-Americans, Latino-Americans, young voters, everybody is upset with Joe Biden right now, Just not just from the chaos in the Middle East, but inflation here at home. And, but you make a good point, why now? Why did initially they allow many of these uh, violations, these criminal violations that Hunter had to expire? Then they came out with the, the limited set. And now California comes out with a little bit more, but still nothing that actually goes up the chain to Joe. Eric, I remember watching the debates. I remember Joe saying that he knew nothing at right. all about his son's business dealings. Then he said that Hunter did nothing wrong. Okay, well, apparently Hunter did do something wrong, and I would be really shocked now that we've seen some of these uh, pseudonym written emails that Joe definitely did know something about Hunter's Well, he practice. also claimed that he had no connection, no contact with any of Hunter's business partners, and now we have some 300 plus pseudonym emails that came from Joe Biden to Hunter's business partners, like literally you know, call, flat out calling Biden, a liar. I, I, I don't think that's going to, you know, get him not elected, but it certainly may bring us closer to some of the Farah um, allegations that may be even tied to the big guy. Can we talk numbers here? You know, I'm watching Trump's poll number. He's he's over 50 percent in two of the three first three states. Um, you have a debate the other night. Ramaswamy did well. Looked like uh, DeSantis did well. Nikki Haley was a punching bag and she didn't seem to have any punch back. What are you guys talking about behind the scenes there? Well, President Trump's really running a two-front war here. He's making sure that he captures the Republican nomination, but then also staying focused on beating Joe Biden in the general election. And I think President Trump, since he's done this before, really has a, a keen mindset to be able to do both at the same time. When you look at the early states, all the independent polling has President Trump ahead by roughly 25 to 35 points in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Nevada. He has a big lead also where that's a, a caucus state. Then you look to the general election where there's even new polling today from Emerson showing President Trump is ahead by four points. The battleground states are looking good. And I think the American public is onto something here that everything Joe Biden touches is turned into a complete failure. And we see what's happening with the weaponization of our justice system with going after President Trump and all these different jurisdictions. American public's pretty smart. They're picking up on what's going on.